Right, good morning. It's Saturday at last. It feels like it's been a long week this week for some reason, don't know why. Anyway, what are we up to today? I'm um, going to be trekking up to uh, towards Peterborough again. I think it's just north of Peterborough to a place called Wisbeach. There's a, um, a church that's under the care of the church's convers com conversation. <laughs> Conservation Trust. That's what I'm going to go and have a look at today. Um, I might be very early when I get there, so I won't be able to get in. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and have a look around the grounds, see what it looks like, and I'll have a look for something else in the area to go and have a, a bit of a walk or a hike round. And then I'll go back a bit later on when the church is open, so I can get in and uh, see what it's like on the inside. That's the plan, anyway. That's that's today's plan. But first, coffee. about two miles and it would seem I'm just about there so the postcode that I had well took me to the wrong place I guess but you know what I don't care it's a lovely day the walk is pretty nice and yeah I've almost done my steps so anyway I'm almost there let's go and have a look John's the Baptist in Parsons Drove. What a place. It's not just the fact that it's a nice church, it's the fact that I went and knocked on the door of the old rectory to get the key to get in. The guy come with me, um, he was setting up some um, meal that they was organising tonight, but he was telling me about the community, you know, about people coming together to, to raise money to keep the church so people can visit it and and view it and they hold festivals in there and plays and meals and you know just that's definitely the sort of place that you get a sense of good community spirit where people come together to you know look after these important things you know instead of just closing the doors leaving it and then letting it rot away it's really important to them down there and uh, I can't thank that guy enough for um, having a chat with me, let me know what goes on there. I mean, that's uh, that's really good. That's really good, and fair play on him and that community for looking after that church like they do. So go and have a look. 
Parsons Drove, St John the Baptist. Um, if it's not open, you can go and knock at the old rectory and the chap will come out and uh, either give you the key or take you for a bit of a tour. So, give it a go. Right, I am leaving this um, place now. Parsons Drove, or whatever it's called. Um, I was hoping to have a look on the phone to, um, I was wobbling about a bit, for somewhere else to go, but I've got no phone signal whatsoever. And I'll tell you what, this this area, the roads are absolutely terrible. There's there's undulations all over them. There's all dips and, and not potholes, but they just go from different levels and wobble about it. <laughs> it's quite funny, to be fair. But for some people, I suppose, if you've got a bit of a bad back or a bit of an ailment about you, then um, it's not ideal, but it is quite interesting. journey journey back I was heading towards the A1 again and uh, I just see a sign for Guy Hearn Chapel so I, put, I pulled in and done a bit have a look, had a bit of a look and it's another church that is under the care of the um, Conservation Trust so I'm glad I'm glad I did pull over it's only a tiny little place it is literally a chapel and apparently it was designed in such a way where you um, you don't kneel down I'm not too sure what that's all about but if I find some more info on that I shall leave that in a link down below but I'm definitely glad that I um, pulled in and had a look right a quaint little place I think funerals still take place here there is some relatively new graves around the back end but other than that I don't know whether they use it for anything else but I did notice another another church down the road and it's all overgrown but I, I didn't really get a chance to look so I'm going to have an amble now, it's probably about another miles walk away from where I am but I'm going to have a look and see what that's all about. It's a nice day, I've got nothing else to do today so I'm going to give it a go. <laughs>
Well, from what I can gather on this site, this is St Mary Magdalene's of Guyhern, and it, the church has just been closed down. And the plans that I've just read are for the, uh, the church to be demolished and the land cleared up and sold on. I don't know what to make of that, really. I mean, that's just that's just sad, isn't it? Look at it. Well, it's not the oldest church in the world, but. It's just sad that we're going to lose another one, isn't it? Eh? This could have, been, could have been done up and utilised for something else, even if it, if it wasn't for a church, you know, it could have been a community hall or, you know, or we could have given it to our Muslim brothers and let them utilise it as a mosque or something, because we know they would have took care of it, but just to see it demolished and got rid of. What can start off as such a good day and um, you really enjoying yourself can end up in a fucking disaster. And that's what's happened now. It's nothing too sinister, but it's it's made me stop for a while. Yeah, I can't move on. I'm stuck where I am. And the reason for that is I have now got an aura in my eyes, which is going to set off a migraine. So I can't I can't drive anywhere because let me explain to you what it looks like for me. The only, the best way I can describe it is like looking through a goldfish bowl of water. You know, everything sort of bubbling. It's I, I don't know. It could could be like you're tripping. I guess it's like everything's bending out. You know, um, you can't read writing because it's all flickering away and all my peripheral vision is all like expanding out like that and going in and out and it's just rippling effect all over now it's going to be far too dangerous for me to drive like that so i'm going to have to sit here for a while and, and wait the aura out but then the migraine hits and if any of you know what migraines are like it's not just it's not just a bad headache sometimes it can be next level headache it can literally feel like um i don't know being hit over the head with a sledgehammer or something you know that's what it can feel like it is so amazingly intense it can hurt that much it can lead to 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 vomiting and nausea and and, and all of that you know it, it can be really horrific now i don't usually get a lot of them i get them a, a few times through the year Usually when the weather changes, that seems to be the biggest thing. Or if I'm majorly dehydrated, that's another trigger. Or the smell of bleach. Bleach, every time without fail, that's it. I've got a migraine. But I have no idea what set it off today. It could be the weather. It could be the fact it's a little bit cooler. I don't know. But all I can do now is just sit and wait it out. I've taken some um, super strong painkillers. I always have these with me because... Well, because of this very thing, you know, just in case it happens, I need some form of pain relief. Otherwise, it's gonna, it's gonna make me stranded. So I'm just gonna have to sit here. <laughs> uh, I've got to laugh about it. I have because it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna wire me up. I shall sit here for a while. Close my eyes. Just, you know, wait and see what happens. Wait for my eyes to get better and see where the headache is. If it's not too bad, I shall trek off. If it is bad, I shall just, well, I don't know, I'll have to wait a bit longer. Or maybe some find somewhere to get a really strong coffee because apparently caffeine helps when you've got a, a migraine. It's a bit of a paradox because a ca caffeine can also cause a headache, you know, cause a migraine, but it can also cure it. But I think you need it right at the early stage. So I think, you know, I might be a bit uh, far gone with that now. Anyway, I'm just rabbiting. I will um, bring you back shortly when I know what I'm going to do. Okay, right, the aura's gone. The headache's hit. At this point, it's not It's not majorly bad. It, um, I don't know, it just feels like a normal headache and it's all round there. It's all round you know under the eyebrows and down this part of my nose and down the center of my head that's where that's where it's hitting it's quite painful to put the glasses on to be honest with you but the aura has gone and i'm 70 i'm 69 miles away from stevenage and i do need to get back i can't sit here all day long so 
I'm gonna take it easy I'm gonna I'm gonna head back if at any point in this journey I start to feel even worse or the pain gets too much I'm just gonna to have to pull over but I can't I can't sit here it's just it's doing me in <laughs> so uh, anyway I'll, I'll let you know how I get on right I'm about um, 45 miles away now so I've done a fair chunk um, still got a fucking banging head it's really it's quite intense um, but I think what's hampering me more than that is the fact that I feel so tired now I do feel really exhausted but you know I'm strong enough that I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on on the road I'm not um, not you know not dozing not starting to be one of them uh, people that is dangerous on the road because of being tired but I am just feeling tired and a few miles ahead of me I've got a McDonald's so I'm gonna stop there I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna sit in there and uh, have a coffee I think sort of break the journey up but traffic's not too bad and at this rate I should be back in Stevenage within the hour so so far so good I like to think the painkillers are doing their job if I hadn't have took them this headache would have been a lot 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 worse don't get me wrong it's not uh, good by any means but I have had it really bad before anyway let's get to McDonald's and get coffee 